Hello everyone, welcome to another time lapse with commentary on how I made this artwork with blender and grease pencil. My name is Mariana, I'm a 2D animator currently working in the anime industry. Last week I did Freeran's Eye as a 2D animation artwork, only using grease pencil. This week I wanted to make a 3D plus 2D piece. Before jumping into Blender, I drew an illustration to know where I'm going. It would be more difficult for me to improvise in 3D without any guide. This concept is part of the planning stage that I need. And now I can start modeling. I used the Displace modifier for the rice part of the sushi. Very convenient. The tuna and salmon were fairly simple. The shrimp was a bit more complex. I got the shape however I could. It won't be clean with good topology, but it doesn't matter for this artwork. Now comes the fun part, setting up the lights, camera and, not action, shaders. To make the toon shader I am using the color ramp method that most people use. If you're interested, I will leave links to tutorials for this process in the description below. I struggled a bit with the shadows on the rise and the cast shadows of the sushi to the wooden plate. The toon shader wasn't flat and it had a bit of gradient and it looked weird. If I unticked the shadow option in the aerial light, now the shadow was super flat, which I liked. But that removes the cast shadows, which I also like, and they are in my original illustration. So I had to decide what to choose and what to sacrifice and I chose to not have the shadows and later with grease pencil draw them manually on the wooden plate. I didn't know if that was going to work, but I took the risk. And I also decided to add more than two colors to the tune shader, making it a bit more interesting. Eventually, I animated the camera rotating around the subject. Now I can judge the artwork with the final framing. And now it's time for the grease pencil drawing. I went ahead and drew the borders and details on the meshes with grease pencil's surface mode. I will leave a link to tutorials for this process as well. There are different ways to make outlines with different modifiers. The outline modifier or solidify with backface calling or with freestyle. Those methods work really well and are more efficient. I will use them in the next artworks. For this one, however, I wanted to get a hang of manually drawing on the mesh surface. You can see that I had the camera view on the left panel, and I move along the timeline to change the angle. The right panel is where I draw. I move around in 3D space, hide objects, change the render view, etc. With this layout, I have the camera view available all the time. However, the render view sometimes is not very reliable with grease pencil strokes. That's why I constantly render frames along the timeline to see how things are going. I didn't make a mesh for the onion. I drew the grease pencil strokes on 3D space using the 3D cursor to move around. I wanted to experiment with this process and the onion was the right call since it's simple enough, just a detail. And I also drew some extra details for the lemon. I thought I could make the tail of the shrimp the same, only with grease pencil in 3D space, but it wasn't working out, so I gave up on that idea and modeled the mesh and drew on the surface. Okay, now it's time to draw the cast shadows. I just drew over the wood surface roughly following the sushi shape, and it worked. 
Sometimes grease pencil strokes do weird things, like points flying to the air. You can erase those with a grease pencil eraser, but I think the best approach is to get into edit mode and deleting or moving them. A grease pencil object, just like other objects in Blender, can be edited. And there's also the very convenient sculpt mode. Here I am using it to refine the shape of the shadows. It's almost finished, but not yet. Time to make everything come together and add a few more details as a cherry on top. I used the tint modifier to change the color of the lines from black to softer colors, like dark orange for the salmon or a dark purple red for the tuna. I will now draw some highlights and extra colors, roughly following what I did in the concept. I do this in a new grease pencil object with new materials that have feel enabled. To these layers, I also added a noise modifier to create a boiling line effect and add more movement to the highlights. I did the same for the cast shadows. And to finish, I am checking and modifying the colors one last time particularly the cast shadow colors together with the wooden board. This one ended up with four colors. They add a nice texture, makes it less flat in a way. And also the background color. I tried different options and decided on a similar blue-purple but more saturated color. And finally adding the signature and done! I just started a Patreon where I will upload files, assets, and exclusive content. If you want to get this Blender file and support me, check the link in the description. And stay tuned, because I will continue uploading grease pencil videos and using Blender for 2D animation. See you in the next one!